welcome to Basement Apes Live. My name is Pixie. We're down at the Wesley Ann tonight and we've got Dear Stalker with us. And uh, welcome here, guys. Thank you. Uh, very excited about meeting with you today. Um, I've just been chatting with Dear Stalker, who are based in Melbourne. They have uh, released, uh, they've got an EP and a single that they've released. Uh, which is very cool, and also embarking on an album. Basically, it's our uh, first album, I guess. We don't know our uh, uh, debut album, and we're doing it with Phil Calvert, who's been in such bands as Birthday Party, Boys Next Door, Psychedelic Furs, and his experience. He produced the Witch Hats albums and stuff like that. And Great. He's been a fantastic help for us, really. And he happens to really like what we do and yeah. volunteer his services. So That's really cool. It's and been going well so far. Yeah, good. And so are you are uh, going into the studio a lot at this stage, or is it more so about collaborating together before? No, we did we did a lot of pre-production before we've gone into the studio, so we did a, a couple of months of pre-production. Yeah. And then and um, we've already put down the rhythm track so far, right. and some guitar overdubs, but there's a, a lot more guitar overdubs, vocal over, vocals of course. Basically yes. a whole lot more work for me to do. Tons of work. Oh, good. <laughs> this is up for a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. And so you're good. planning to release this in next year? Early to mid next year. We're hoping to tee up national distribution for it and push it as much as we possibly can. Exciting, cool. Okay, and Lisa, so tell me um, what would be the most ideal kind of album launch for you? Ideally, we're looking for something as big as possible, so yes. we've done a couple of launches in Melbourne, this time yep. around we'd like to launch it nationally, so yes. secure national distribution, national media, play a national tour, yep. and just make it as big as we possibly can. Yes, yes, absolutely, that's exciting. Um, venues, whereabouts do you kind of hope to... Uh, well, I mean, I mean the, the, the wish list, I mean, we, we play all over the place, really, yep. so, I mean, obviously, Cherry Bar, um, yep. you know, the insurmountable amount of choices. <laughs> yeah, the forum would be lovely, but the forum it might be a little at this stage. Oh, you never know, you've got time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How did you guys start? Yeah, that was, uh, that was really that was interesting. interesting. Was interesting. Um, yeah, we met... Oh, it's almost five years ago that we all met. I was originally a solo artist, um, playing some shows, supporting Adam and our drummer Alan, who's not here tonight. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I'd been doing the solo thing for quite a number of years. Yes. And they saw me doing what I did up there with my um, electric guitar, just by myself. Offered yep. their services as a rhythm section. Yeah. It was originally only going to be the live band for my solo project, and yep. then. I just loved what they brought to the songs. We jammed on some new material. And yeah, yeah. I said, okay, how about you have an equal share in everything and we become a band? Because this is too good. I'm not letting you guys go. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's yeah. how it came about. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Really cool. Um, so you have got a Halloween uh, special coming up. We have. What's, yeah. what's happening with that? Can you tell me? We're playing a Halloween show at Tago Mago. Yeah. On, on the 31st. So on in Thornbury. In Thornbury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, basically what we've done is we're planning to throw a little bit of a Halloween party, so it's free entry. Right, uh, okay. We encourage everyone to dress up, we're going to decorate the venue, we're putting on lots of Halloween snacks and prizes for best costumes and things like that. Yep, yep. Uh, we've got some great support bands as well, so we've yep. got Rouge Fonse and Dark Hales playing with us. Great, okay. Um, awesome. Uh, yeah, we're basically just looking to put together, I love Halloween, so we're just looking to put together a really fun night. Yeah, who are your biggest inspirations? Well, I'm just going to blow that out of the water now and say Nirvana, so... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's, the nice thing. that's the grunge thing. Yeah, no, that's uh, great, though. But yeah, I obviously I do love the music of the 90s. Um, yeah. I love a lot of Australian rock music as well. You've got that beautiful rock uh, kind of feel to your voice, and you do have uh, a very... Um, I don't know, I, I, I almost likened you a little bit to Ella Hooper, that yeah. kind of, you know, like, Spot so, on. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, very, very beautiful, uh, amazing talent, so, Thank yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to do when the album comes out, things like that, so, yeah, okay, cool, and so, um, Adam, you do the bass, and yes. um, have you, prior to um, meeting Lisa and joining Dear Stalker, have you... Yeah, 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 I've had, <coughs> I've got a fairly extensive musical history. Yeah. <coughs> I guess, um, I guess the main band that I worked with, uh, which, you know, I don't know if we're talking about, but it's a band called Blue Ruin, I played with for uh, okay. three albums I did for them. Wow. Um, and, um, you know, uh, yeah, I played lots of styles, but 
I instantly fell in love with Lisa when I saw her playing. That's why yeah. we had to hook up yeah. and uh, put this that project That gorgeous together. face and that beautiful talent. Uh, yeah. It just, yeah. Uh, you know, I just, I could see that she needs a rhythm section. She's really good. Are you going to be touring the album next year when... Absolutely. We've, yeah. We haven't really done any national touring so far. We've just started to venture into regional Victoria. Yep. So the plan for the album release is to create a national publicity campaign, national distribution, and definitely a national tour to support yep. all of that. Fantastic. What, what's the other gig that you have coming up? Uh, Creep Show Halloween Festival. Can't get Creep Show Halloween Festival. Oh, Great. Right. Yeah, they're so going for the Halloween thing. On the 26th. Yeah. Okay. 26th of October, guys. Uh, follow Dear Stalker on Facebook. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what you do with this album coming up. We've also got their uh, single and their EP right here. So yeah, check them out guys and uh, we'll catch you soon.